What's up world, it's your boy Drew Marcy, world's first and most subscribed rap coach. And in today's video, we wanna show you how to improve your rap voice step by step. Now, most rap voice trainings online, unfortunately, including some of our own, are limited to only giving a list of tips on how to improve your rap voice, but they don't actually give live demonstrations of how it would sound once you actually make the changes we're gonna teach you here today. With that in mind, in this video, we're gonna show you exactly what to do in order to improve your rap voice, but even better, show you some recorded examples using the exact step-by-step -step methods we'll teach you so that you can double check next time you're recording if your rap voice has indeed improved. Additionally, if you like the info that we're kicking to you, a little later on in the video, we'll give you an opportunity just for you to get some more personalized coaching from myself and rappers from around the world. So be sure to watch all the way through or simply click the first link in the video description to get info on that now but forget all that let's get into the method showing you how to improve your rap voice step by step now if you're watching a video like this i'm gonna assume you don't like your rap voice or you feel like your rap voice needs some major improvement usually the people who struggle with this fall into three main categories either you think your rap voice is too weak or too soft you think your rap voice isn't smooth or it doesn't have no swag or drip or your rap voice is too loud now of course in order to give you the most value since you chose to click on us here at How to Rap, we gotta break down each of these, starting with the most common one, which is you think your rap voice is too weak or too soft. Okay, so for me, after having rap professionally for over 10 years, traveled to over 15 countries because of rap, but more importantly, having coached thousands of rappers one-on-one, -on -one founding this the first and favorite rap coaching company, I find usually the people that have weak rap voices or they don't sound strong, they're not powering through, etc., often than not setting up their recording process and practice routine for success when it comes to rap voice. They're usually recording in their bedroom with people in the house, if they're like a student or something like that, or they're not utilizing their mic right to help force them to get louder and so forth. Let's look at a quick example of what that might sound like, where I'm purposefully rapping a little too quiet, I'm a little bit too close to the mic and I'm not projecting my voice well. This an example, give you a sample Dropping the bars like you hitting an amble Ooh. I know you can handle Drew You know he can man the views all right, so there it is. So if you're in a situation where you're in a bedroom or a dorm, or you're just in a situation where it's hard to project your voice or sound confident for whatever reason, I'm gonna suggest that you change the physical distance and the sort of physical setup of where you're recording from to help get a stronger rap voice. That means I want you to turn up the gain and turn up the phones. So first turn up the gain or recording volume on your mic and give yourself an additional, let's say six inches away from the mic pause. And then second, turn up the music to a louder volume where you'll have to compensate for that distance change and the volume of the music in order to make sure that the mic catches your rhymes. This is beautiful because it forces your mind to project more, give more strength. And since you're so damn focused on actually recording and it catching so you don't have to do another take, you're likely to be too distracted to be influenced by whatever's going on around you or in another room, etc. So let's listen to the example where I've done these steps. I've stepped back from the mic. I've adjusted the volume and let's hear the difference. This an example, giving this sample, dropping the boss like you hitting an anvil. Ooh, and no, you can handle Drew. You know he can man the views. Sounds better, right? That's because I forced my mind, I tricked my mind into having to, again, overcompensate or force to project my voice in a much stronger way. And trust me, I wasn't focused on everything going on down on the river or the TV or whatever. Additionally, outside of physically moving yourself or adjusting the volume, I wanna make sure that you're visualizing your voice as traveling past the mic, giving it some distance and seeing yourself succeeding with a stronger and more powerful voice. The way I think of this is rap through the mic, not to the mic. That means visualize as you record each take that your voice is traveling past the actual mic in front of you and on the opposite wall or through the foam in your studio, etc. Understand that even in sports, scientists have studied basketball players that visualize themselves making free throws before shooting them and their shot percentages literally went up impressively just by visualizing making the shots in advance. The same can work for your rap voice. So visualize your voice going past rather than than just landing close enough to make a sound wave or whatever. Got it? 
Okay, now what to do if your rap voice doesn't sound smooth or swagged out or dripped out? Let's move on to that, but just be aware, even with all of the insights on rap voice we're giving you here, there's nothing better than direct feedback from professionals on the things you're actually recording in that studio or at home to make sure that you've got all of the insights locked in. So as mentioned in the beginning, that's why we're opening up VIP space in our Anthem Academy brand new coaching program featuring the world's first social network for rappers where you can gain access to first of its kind guaranteed feedback on your music every day click the first link in the video description to get more information on that and with that said let's move on to number two you feel like your voice isn't too smooth or swagged out in the case of somebody who feels like their rap voice isn't cool or doesn't have swag or drip or whatever the first thing i usually tell them and this is usually the quickest way to handle this to improve your rap voice when it's not smooth is experiment with multiple versions of the same verse and listen back to them and decide which is the coolest you know take opinions etc that means that people that have like uncool or not very smooth rap voices often just do one or two takes just record you know good enough that their voice is clear and then they say okay that's that's cool enough and move on that can be cool once you're advanced or even intermediate and you kind of know what your voice can do and how it can contort to different ways but when you're just starting and you're watching videos like this and trying to learn how to improve your rap voice you need to be in experience experimentation mode. Therefore, for you, I'm going to suggest for the next month, every time you record a verse, I want you to do three versions of it, three different voices, and then listen to it back. Of course, we're not just going to have this be a theory. Let's go through some examples. The first example is going to be me just rapping pretty normally, like, you know, a good enough take, you know, not terrible, uh, but without much variation, not much smooth. Yo, yo. Second example for the voice lesson I be the coach, you be the champ You see a point stretching You get your goal, just gotta aim it like a pointed weapon Go get your coin, enjoy the blessings And deploy the message Now any questions, come on Okay, so that's pretty good And, you know, again, a lot of people that rap Just go with that and move on to the next track or whatever But if they're concerned about having a more smooth Dripped out voice uh, Let's try an example here Where I'm a little bit more playful pause uh and i'm just having a little bit more fun with my voice adjusting the the word endings things like that and that can be version number two all right yeah Second example for the voice lesson I be the coach, you be the champ, you see your point stretching You get your goal, just gotta aim it like a pointed weapon Girl, get your coin, enjoy the blessings and deploy the message Now any questions, come on Okay, so you see what I did there I made slight changes to certain like the rhyming words And different ups and downs and sort of valleys and peaks as we call it And I could consider using that, right? What I might do is I might keep that in the tuck listen to it back a couple times you know wait a week before i decide what what version i'm going to use for this recording and then i'll listen to that compared to the first one and then listen to another third one that will show you right here right now with another version of a playful voice so i have three different ways to choose and then i can pull the room the engineer my friends so let's listen to number three with another version of a playful voice yeah yeah second example for the voice lesson i'll be the coach and be the champ you see a point stretching you get you go just gotta aim it like a pointed weapon go get your coin enjoy the blessings and deploy the message there ain't any questions come on Okay, so now you've seen we have three different versions of smooth or playful or swagged out voices that we can use. Again, we can take some time to, you know, have those three versions, play them in our phone, right? Zone out, play them in different locations. Again, ask other people. And then at the end of it, what you'll start to notice is people will start to say, yo, when you use that voice, you go crazy. And you'll start to see and hear patterns. And then you'll eventually have it locked in and internalized the best voice for you to sound smooth and swagged out now of course let's go to the rarest ones maybe saving the best for last what if someone's voice is too loud or you're rapping too loud or people are saying why are you yelling on the track okay so usually when i see people that rap too loud what it is is they're trying to emulate a rapper that they admire who had a notoriously loud or powerful voice uh, i'm thinking about somebody like tupac dmx or even early eminem and the person's trying to emulate these 90s rappers in a when that was a time period when mic quality was 
was very different and you really had to do more with less. So rappers were really crazy and charismatic and often loud with their vocal projection. With that said, let's quickly fix that. Okay, so really what you need to do is rather simple. You actually are gonna use sort of the same mental framework about changing volumes and placement that we did in step number one, except you're gonna get close to the mic turn your voice up in your headphones and then rock out. So rather than being far from the mic and having to stretch your voice, flip that on its head and be close so that you're overwhelming your senses with your voice and you'll be much more sensitive to how loud you're sounding. The truth of the matter is that mic quality in the 21st century is 10 times better than the 90s where rappers like DMX, Tupac, or even early Eminem you might be emulating. Like again, they had to just do more with less. So you're probably overdoing it if you're always trying to sound like them. So my suggestion is use the technology in your favor, turn that voice up so you're a lot more sensitive and you will start to notice the change and you're gonna be like, oh damn, I'm doing way too much. With that said, let's play two examples. The first one being me overcompensating and trying too hard. And the second one is me turning up that volume, getting a little closer to the mic and starting to notice I'm way doing way too much. Yo, loud. This the third demo, I'm burning instrumentals. I learned that your girl is Jewish, I'm working her tempo. It hurts what you've been through. I'm perfect, I've been cool. I just, <laughs> too much, yo. <laughs> All right, a little more cool. Yo, this the third demo. I burn instrumentals. I learned that your girl is Jewish. I'm working her temple. It hurts what you've been through. I'm perfect, I've been cool. I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. How to improve your rap voice step by step. Now, if you enjoy our rap voice content, I will leave a video that you can click on to keep watching with some more insights on step-by-step -step rap voice improvement. And again, if you're a rapper who wants personalized coaching directly on what you've recorded and what you record right here, right now with me and other rappers, just visit the first link in the video description below. I'm your host, Drew Marcy, the big homie Drew for how to rap. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.